Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to show you guys uh, the basics of using events in C-sharp, so specific to Unity in this case. And what we have here is a very simple event where this button will start triggering the coroutine that we made in the last video, which is basically um, looping through the numbers 0 through 10 and setting the value to this text box down below in this slider here. But then, on top of that, we have an event where we're waiting for the value to reach 5, and when the value of the slider reaches 5, it's going to trigger an event, um, and I think the event is actually attached to the slider itself. But then this uh, text box over here has a delegate, and this delegate inside of this script is attached to this event. Um, so through hard scripting, we're basically taking the action that we want to trigger and we're putting it on top of this event. So one of the advantages to having these events as kind of a manager type thing is that whenever we want to add any method that of course meets the requirements of a delegate, which in this case is it returns void, but in other cases it could return something else. But basically any method that will return void in this case, we can attach to this event. And this event has been declared static, so in any class that's in the project, you can reference uh, just the class name dot the event name and add it to it at will. So what that means is that universally anywhere in any of your scripts, as long as an event has been declared as static, you can basically type in the name of the event plus equals the name of your delegate, which is just a method that meets the requirements. And that delegate action will run whenever that event triggers. So by doing that, you can have a huge stack of delegates to trigger all uh, basically at the same time. It's actually down the list um, whenever that event is going to trigger. So let's go ahead and run this and you'll see exactly uh, what I'm talking about, having these event triggers. Wait. So let's go ahead and run this and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about, about having the event triggered. So um, the coroutine, basically we covered that in the previous video, it's gonna loop zero through 10 over about a second. Um, and when it reaches the value five, this event's gonna trigger where uh, the delegate says, change the text value here. So let's go ahead and do that. And you see that when it hit five, it says value reached, misspelling and event triggered. So let's run that one more time just so that you guys catch all of that. Um, it's gonna go zero to 10 when it hits five, the text here changes. And remember that was done with a delegate. So you can add more delegates on top of the event to have a lot of different things happen whenever that event triggers. So let's look at the code. It's relatively simple. The two things we need to focus on are this event trigger text delegate script that I wrote up and on the slider, the value reached X event manager. Now, those names could probably be improved, but uh, bear with me here. So let's jump into the code. In the value reaches X event manager, it basically declares an event, uh, sets up or defines the delegate, which is value reached action. And we can take any number of value reached actions and add them to the event as delegates, of course. Uh, basically with a plus equal sign anywhere we want and then whenever we want this event to trigger the value reached event we call value reached event dot invoke note that this it was made static um, which in general is going to be a good idea because you only really want one of the events to exist at a time because it's like uh, well this is a very specific event we don't want duplicate events and getting confused but also by making it static, we can reference the class and then the name of this event, and uh, we can add delegates to it from anywhere else without um, doing a using statement up here at the top. Uh, the rest of this is just uh, a couple variables and some basic code, checking if the event has already triggered. So we only want this event to trigger once uh, in the case that like the value is still five, but it runs through update here. So update checks every frame. Uh, and if the value is 5 in the current frame, then it's going to trigger the event and will only trigger once because this boolean statement prevents it. So we go over to this uh, event triggered text delegate class, which defines this delegate action, cleverly named delegate action, which states that 
what we want to happen is that the text and this text field uh, changes to value reached and event triggered and I'm gonna correct that spelling mistake there and all we need to do to make this delegate trigger is to add it to the event statically referenced value reaches x event manager the class name dot value reached event the name of the static event and we plus equals delegate action which adds the delegate method to the event so now whenever that event triggers the delegate action is also going to trigger and we can also add more onto that list and we can also remove it just as easily by doing a minus equals so that covers events and delegates inside of unity from a basic c sharp scripting level in the future videos we'll be getting into a couple other things you can do with events and how to expand on the topic but for now that's going to be it so i've been chris thanks for watching this video on unity and events and I will see you guys in my future video content.